Welcome to week three. This week we're going to be working with graphic objects and other document enhancements. Let's take a look at the week three objectives. Inserting and formatting graphic objects, adding page borders, copy cut and paste, working with styles and themes, inserting page numbers, and citing sources using the APA style. This week is filled with pictures and shapes and colors and word art. And in order to be successful with this week's assignment, I need you to know that there's two more videos that you need to watch. This next video is about inserting graphic elements. It's 16 minutes long. It's going to show you everything you need to complete this week's assignment. And then a little further down, you're going to find a third video, and that's how to insert page borders. And so in order to do a great job on this week's assignment, I need you to watch those two videos. The book that's attached does just minimal on this, and so I just want to make sure that in this next three weeks that we really cover the things that I believe moving beyond the classroom into the real world you're going to be able to use. So again, make sure that you're taking a look at those two videos. Okay, let's talk about this week's assignment. You're going to be creative. You're going to create a blood drive flyer. And so I'm going to show you some samples when I'm done talking about this. And so it's fictitious. You're going to have some creative energy here, I hope. And so things to consider. you got to consider the location of your blood drive. You can have it at IMBC. You can choose to have it at a different location. The date and time. You make it up. The third point you're going to see is I'm suggesting that you choose a holiday theme. I think it's easier to build around a holiday like Thanksgiving or Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's Day. It gives you a sort of um, a color scheme. Don't have to, but just a suggestion. When there's, excuse me, when there's blood drive going on, there's usually item giveaways, and so you can think about that. Oftentimes there's a sponsorship. Maybe Walmart is going to sponsor it. Maybe a sporting goods is going to sponsor it. Again, you think about it. Come up with who you want to sponsor your blood drive. Again, the word of the week is be creative. Number five, you're going to set your margins to narrow. So if you're using an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet, I want you to use as much of the space as you can. Don't make it look overcrowded, but use the space well. So you can use different fonts, font colors, font sizes, word art. You'll see that in the video. How to insert pictures. You're going to see it in the next video how to insert page borders, adding shading, and shapes. You need to bring all the objectives that we worked with in week one. So all the character formatting, the line spacing, applying spacing before and after paragraphs. So that's your assignment this week. You'll see it at the end. Let me show you let me show you some sample work that other students have done in the past, just to give you an idea of what I'm looking for. Okay, here's a sample, blood drive. This student chose to do it for Christmas. Again, you can see the color. Let me zoom in. And so, making sure that you have a date, a location, There's some giveaways here. They're thanking the sponsors. And I love this. Accidents and medical emergencies do not take holidays. We need blood every minute, every day, every year. So nice touch there. Uh, this student did a great job. <coughs> Excuse me. This, this student did a great job of spacing. And so there's sample number one. Blood drive sample number two. 
the student took this one just in a little different direction. They decided to have a blood drive for animals. And I like the winter theme. I like the cool blues and silver and whites. Again, great use of space. And it gets the point across. Our next sample went for the month of October. It looks like we have a Halloween theme. Works well with the blood. I like the visual. Nice use of the word art, the graphics. We have a bulletin list, pictures. The one thing I need to say, um, a negative here, is they didn't finish. You shouldn't have this much space left with nothing there. And so, um, there's a lot to say. You can add graphics. But uh, I love the start of this. So my last sample here is done for Valentine's Day. Again, a nice... Uh, color scheme. I like the gray and the pinks together. Great use of our shapes that we need. We have some nice word art here. Nice balance to this. So again, a really nice job. Looking at those samples, watching my videos, I think you're on the fast track to having a really great week. And I hope you enjoy doing this project. Tips for a successful week. Do not procrastinate. Log in each day. Complete all your reading assignments. Please watch the videos. Complete your discussion board questions by Thursday. Respond to those questions with your peers by Sunday evening. Submit this week's assignment by Sunday. Contact me and let me help you cross your finish line.